YouTube <clears throat> just wanted to say hello to all of my subscribers um, and just kind of make this cool uh, talking video for a little bit so I'm not gonna be doing much playing I'm just gonna kind of talk for a little bit <sighs> update you guys on some things um, I've been having some trouble uploading videos uh, to YouTube recently I have a ton of uh, footage of um, one of my band concerts that I conducted I have a ton of footage um, of some cool POV videos. I have some other recordings that I've been meaning to upload, but um, I've been having some trouble with my iCloud and uploading those. Um, but it's letting me upload this for some reason. So I don't know what's going on there. Trying to figure that out. So that's why I haven't been posting for a while. I'm okay. Everything is fine. Um, just haven't posted for a while because of that uh, problem. Um, but I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit um, about some uh, really cool things that have been going on uh, with myself. Um, right now I'm warming up on my large board tenor. I'm off to a uh, uh, Palm Sunday performance for tonight, so I've been warming up um, on that. Um, and I've been um, working out some really cool uh, lip slur exercises, and one of them was the thing I was just doing. Um, practicing those different shelves at a high tempo um, and it's been a really cool exercise that I've been doing recently I want to share it with you guys um, you do this on all shelves um, the one I start with is F and B flat so right here what you do is you do um, quarter notes and you do eighth notes so then you do triplets and you do 16th notes and you do that um, in all the shelves so I do F and B flat and then B flat and D and D and F just something cool I wanted to share with you guys I go down all the way to 7 come all the way back up and my lips are feeling awesome so um, it's a great little warm up um, Another thing I wanted to talk about was um, I recently auditioned for a gig that I, re I really wanted this gig. Um, it's a really cool gig, but I didn't end up getting it. Um, but I was in like, uh, I made it past a lot of uh, audition rounds and I was in the, the top group, um, but they just decided not to go with me. Um, and I was feeling kind of down about it because uh, I really wanted this gig, but um, I just wanted to encourage anyone um, who's a musician, um, whether you play trombone or whatever instrument you play, when it comes to auditions, um, if you don't get an audition, it doesn't mean you're you're a bad player. Um, I I took it uh, so personally that I didn't get this, and I was like, am I am I not good enough for whatever? And um, there's uh, you. I feel like as as musicians, um, a good musician never gets to a point in their music career where they say, oh, I'm I'm finally good enough to do this or finally good enough to do this. Or um, you get to a certain point and you say, okay, I'm good enough here and I'm not going to work any higher, you know. So um, I took I kind of took this time to reflect upon it. And um, so I just want to encourage anyone, if you um, audition for anything, you have anything in your life that's going on and you don't um, achieve it, that doesn't mean that all that hard work has not amounted to anything. All the hard work will amount to something eventually, and for me it has amounted to lots of things. Um, but I I've learned to not take auditions too personally. Yeah, if you if you don't get something, um, that that's too bad, but it doesn't mean that you aren't working hard enough or aren't aren't necessarily good enough. Well, there there is a uh, to an extent, you do have to be good enough to do a certain something, but um, but I feel like I was being really hard on myself and critiquing myself way too much. Not that self criticism isn't a bad thing, but um, just want to encourage anyone that if you if you take that big step and go for something, you don't get it. 
it, it's it's going to be okay. So just want to encourage anyone if you're going through anything like me, it's going to be okay. Um, another thing that that I've been learning a lot right now is that no matter what level you are as a trombonist or whatever instrument, you when you first pick up an instrument, you have lots of bad habits, and a lot of those bad habits follow you for a substantial amount of time. Um, and I'm getting to a point in my playing where um, my my private instructor is working on a lot of bad habits with me. Um, and just like the auditions, when you audition for something and, and you don't get it, don't take it too personally. It doesn't mean this, this, or that. Um, I was almost applying the same theory to taking constructive criticism. Um, and I was taking this constructive criticism to the point where I was being way too hard on myself with these bad habits, where some bad habits were pointed out to me. Um, and these bad habits weren't necessarily, didn't necessarily mean I was a, a horrible trombone player or anything. They're just things I need to work on. So um, always know that no matter what teacher you have, no matter what you are learning, whether it's music or anything else, constructive criticism is, if it's constructive and it is not personal, for the most part, it is a good thing. Sometimes I take constructive criticism so personally, I'm like, oh, I'm, I suck. I'm not good enough. Um, but, but those things, the, the good constructive criticism is going to help you in the long run. So I also want to encourage anyone, uh, not only with what I said earlier, but along with this as well, if you're learning something and somebody gives you some advice or is teaching you something new, it doesn't mean that they're teaching you that new something because you're you are bad at this. They want to make make you better. Um, so along with that, and a lot of other things in life can be applied. So just want to encourage um, all my subscribers. If you're a musician, just keep doing what you're doing um, and keep chugging along. Um, so I just want to update you guys on some cool things. Talk for a little bit. Um, please check out some of my other stuff. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like this video. Um, if you are not subscribed and you just found this video, nice to meet you. Um, I think that's all I have to say, so uh, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you guys have a great day.